Hi everyone, I'm back again with a new tutorial video. Today, I will be showing you how to create a rotating 3D image carousel just like what you see here. So I have here 8 images with infinite rotation duration. And if the cursor or the user hovers an image, the rotation will be paused and it will continue again if the cursor is moved away. So let's start. As usual, I have added here the basic structure that we'll need. First, we have a div container. Next, we have a carousel container and then figure tag. And inside this tag, we have these eight images. So I grabbed these eight images from um, pixum.photos. So they offer um, free photos you can grab to use for your website. And you can see here on the preview that the images are um, big. So let's start or let's now move on to adding the style for the images. First, we'll need to set the position of the images to absolute. So let me select the images. Figure, image, and position, absolute. And then we'll need to add with 100% here. And the desired width in pixels, we'll add it to the container element. So I'll be using 220 pixels. And since this will be a 3D, we need to add um, a perspective to the container and I'll use 1000 pixels there. So the other images are under the first image. So I'm going to um, put the other images on the other side. And to be able to do that, I'll use transform. So let me first pick the images. Image and we'll use and child. So for the first image, uh, transform rotate y to zero degree since it's the first image and translate z since this is 3d to 300 pixels and i'll apply the same to the other images but the degree should be uh, incrementing by 45 degrees so the second one will be 45 here the third one will be 90 and then the fourth one will be 135 fifth would be 180 and the sixth image will be 225 the seventh image will be 270 and then the last image is 315 so let me just fix uh, the images by putting it on the center. So I'll add um, display flex here. Align items center. Justify content center. And I'll need to add height. So since it's not really centered, let me reduce the height. Okay, and then we need to um, add a, what do you call this, to be able to smooth, smoothen the 3D. So I'll need to add um, a transform style to the carousel. Transform style. Reserve 3D. Okay. 
Now that we have this 3D carousel, the next step is to add animation. So we will add animation to the um, carousel element. So let's name the animation rotate and then 70 seconds duration. Let's set it to be linear and then infinite. So let's add action to the rotate animation. Let's add keyframes, rotate, and on 0%, we will need transform, rotate Y to 0 degree. And then on 100%, let's transform it to 360 degrees. Oops. There. Now that we have successfully added a rotate animation, you can see here that I have made a mistake. So there's an image at the center. That is because I forgot to change this number here to the last image, which is 8. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, now that it's fixed, let's now proceed to the last step, which is to add um, a hover state where the carousel should be paused. So what we're going to do is to add hover to the carousel. So carousel hover. And we will add um, animation play state. Play state and it should be paused. So let's try now. There. So the carousel stops or pauses whenever the user hovers. Um, the hovers the cursor to the image. So that ends this tutorial. I hope you have found this easy to understand. Mm -hmm.